Coming up, it's the High School Quiz Show quarterfinals with Somerville High School. <laughs> Taking on Hingham High School. That's next on High School Quiz Show. Need to file a claim? With Safety Insurance, you can use the latest technology or you can call your local independent agent. Either way, Safety Insurance is committed to providing customer service that can help you manage life's storms. Welcome to High School Quiz Show. I'm your host, uh, Billy Costa. Today's matchup is the second of our quarterfinal rounds. We are down to the final eight teams, and today's matchup has Hingham High School taking on Somerville High School. And on the Hingham team, we have Noah, Zach, Kyle, and Dan with alternate Jack on the sidelines, and coach Glenda Garland. <laughs> And for Somerville High School, we have Alice, Marisa, Max, and Sam, uh, with the alternate Bobby on the sideline, and Coach Mike Maloney. <laughs> the competition has four rounds, a toss-up, a head-to-head, -head, a category round, and, of course, a lightning round. We will start with the toss-up round. All answers worth 10 points, and this, the only round with no point deductions for wrong answers. So, if everybody's ready, if the teams are ready, good luck, and let's play. As young lawyers in the 1970s, Bill Weld and Hillary Clinton worked together on the House Impeachment Committee investigating what president? <phone rings> yes, Zach? Richard Nixon. Yes, in 1794, Eli Whitney received a patent for what invention that revolutionized America's cotton industry? <phone rings> yes, Max? The cotton gin? Yes. Uh, collagen and elastin are the two main structural proteins found in what organ the largest in the human body? Yes, Sam? Skin? Yes. Uh, what Greek goddess of love and beauty had a magical golden girdle that made her irresistible to men? Yes, Noah? Aphrodite. Yes. Now take a look at your monitors. This portrait of the Emperor Napoleon was painted in 1812, the same year he led a massive army of 450,000 men on a disastrous invasion of what country? Yes, Sam? The UK. No. Hang on, you want to try? Yes, Kyle? Russia. Russia is right. In 1535, Spanish conquistador Francisco Pizarro founded what capital city of Peru? Yes, Alice? Lima. Lima is right. How sharper than a serpent's tooth it is to have a thankless child. Uh, this quote is from what Shakespeare tragedy? Yes, Noah? King Lear. Yes. Uh, what company said it clearly bears some of the responsibility after one of its self-driving cars struck a bus in February of 2016? Yes, Noah? Google. Yes. Soon after ascending the throne in 1558, what monarch restored the Protestant religion as the official faith of England? Yes, Marisa. Elizabeth. Yes, Elizabeth I. And take a look at your monitors. Here comes your next question. I'm Anna Rothschild, and this is Gross Science. <laughs> Here's my question. Scabs are nature's band-aids. Less than 10 seconds after you cut yourself, a clot starts forming to stop the bleeding. What special blood cells cause blood to get sticky and clump together? Yes, Noah. Platelets. Platelets is correct. In 1846, what planet was mathematically predicted before it was directly observed based on the orbit of Uranus? Yes, Marisa. A Pluto. No, Hingham, you want to take a shot at this? Yes, Noah. Neptune. Neptune is right. In 2016, an Italian journalist unleashed a controversy by naming Anita Raja as the elusive author of My Brilliant Friend, a best-selling book written under what pen name? 
Elena Ferrante the answer. Celebrity chef Gordon Ramsay claims he cried when one of his restaurants lost two stars. He had been downgraded by what tire company's prestigious dining guide? Yes, Noah. Michelin. Yes. In 2016, the FDA released a new nutrition label for packaged foods. Which of the following is now highlighted most prominently? Is it A, calories, B, sodium, or C, sugar? Yes, Zach. A, calories. A, calories is right. Math question. What is the area of a trapezoid with uh, bases of 5 inches and 7 inches and a height of 3 inches? Yes, Max. 18 square inches. Yes. The world's longest reigning monarch, uh, Pumipon Aduyadet, uh, passed away in 2016 at age 88. He had been the king of what country since 1946? Yes, Zach. Thailand. Yes. Approximately 1,500 babies in the United States die every year from SIDS, an acronym that stands for what? Dan? Uh, sudden Infant Death Syndrome. Yes. In 2016, John Stump resigned as CEO from what bank that allegedly created millions of fake accounts to meet aggressive sales targets? Yes, Alice? Wells Fargo? Yes. A year after nearly being killed in a car accident in Maine, what best-selling author released On Writing, a memoir that gives advice to aspiring writers? Yes, Alice? Stephen King? Yes. What Dallas police officer was fatally shot by Lee Harvey Oswald, November 22nd, 1963, 45 minutes after the assassination of President Kennedy? Yes, Alice? Ruby? No, Hingham, you want to try? <laughs> officer Tippett. High atmospheric pressure will result in which of the following? Is it A, rain, B, clear blue sky, or C, fog? Yes, Alice. Clear blue sky. Yes. What ancient city on the Silk Road trade route is the capital of Uzbekistan? Yes, Noah. Tashkent. Yes. Literally meaning salt former, what uh, term refers to the group of highly reactive non-metallic elements on the periodic table, for example, fluorine and iodine? Yes, Noah. Halogen. Yes. In December of 2016, after voters rejected a referendum on his proposed constitutional reforms, what Italian prime minister said he would resign? Yes, Marisa. Renzi. Yes. Math question. Solve this equation. Uh, 4x minus 8 equals 0. Yes, Dan. Uh, x equals 2. Yes. In 1942, Field Marshal Erich von Manstein led a failed attempt to rescue German forces in what Soviet city? Yes, Zach? Stalingrad. Yes, with more than 50 million subscribers. Uh, Felix Schelberg is the creator and the host of the most popular channel on YouTube. He's best known by what online alias? Yes, M. PewDiePie? Yes. The majority of California's population lives in the vicinity of what 800-mile-long fracture in the Earth's crust? Yes, Noah? The San Andreas Fault. Yes. What Massachusetts native disguised herself as a man in order to serve in the Continental Army during the American Revolution? Yes, Dan? Molly Pitcher? No. Somerville, you want to try? Deborah yes, Sampson. Yes. Uh, what is the most populous city in Spain? Yes, Madrid. Alice. Yes. Uh, what process did Charles Goodyear develop in 1839 to make rubber more stable and elastic? Yes, Sam. Vulcanization. Yes. The Syrian civil war began in March of 2011 with nationwide protests against what president? Yes, Alice. Assad. Or yes, Bashar al-Assad. Uh, before becoming the 14th state to join the Union, what New England state was an independent republic between 1777 and 1791? Yes, Kyle. Vermont. Yes, what dark volcanic rock is the most common rock found on the ocean floor? Yes, M. Basalt. Yes. Who's the only former U.S. president to later serve on the Supreme Court serving as Chief Justice from 1921 to 1930? Yes, Dan. Uh, Taft. Yes. Uh, the Sykes-Pico Agreement was a secret plan to divide the lands of the disintegrating Ottoman Empire between uh, Britain and what other country? Yes, Zach. France. Yes. Uh, what 1648 peace treaty finally ended a series of overlapping European conflicts known as the Thirty Years' War? Yes, Kyle. Uh, Westphalia. Yes. And what country? Oh. 
almost got the last one in, but that is the end of the round. The score right now, Hingham High School, 200 points. Somerville High School, 150 points. This is a good game right here. Okay, the head-to-head -head round is next. First, we're going to take a quick break and kind of get to know the contestants, and we'll do that by way of a question I have in my hand. And here is the question. A musical based on your life is premiering on Broadway this summer. What is it called and why? And we'll start with you, Noah. The Sound of Mucus, because <laughs> <laughs> if you live with me, you know that's an integral part of my morning routine. Ah, a little allergy issue, I'm guessing. Uh, Zach? Uh, I'd go with Kinky Running Shoes, because I'm a large fan of cross country. Oh, good. And Kyle? Uh, how to succeed in Quiz Bowl without really trying. Nice. Uh, Dan? Uh, legally bland, which is ironic because I'm not legal. Okay. Somerville High, your turn, Alice. I think I'd have to go with Alice Hamilton. <laughs> I, uh, yeah, go. I, I think I'm going to say Marie Samilton. Okay. I smell a theme here. Max? Uh, similarly, I think I'd go Max Hamilton. <laughs> <laughs> and Sam? Uh, I think I'll go Sam Tim of the Opera. <laughs> <laughs> Nicely done. All right. So it's time to go head to head. And the way it works, well, Hingham, you guys are coming down. Somerville, you guys are coming down. And we're going head to head right now. Come on down. Okay, we are about to go head to head. I do have the Somerville team to my left, the Hingham team. To my right, you guys want to shake hands, kind of relax a little bit uh, as we get started. As a reminder in this round, uh, you will get 10 points for correct answers. Incorrect answers will cost you 10 points. You can buzz in at any time. The clock is set at 90 seconds. And here we go. From 1892 until 1954, what New York Island was the nation's busiest immigration... Yes. Ellis Island. Yes, the fictional town of Grover's Corners is the setting for what Thornton Wilder play? Yes. Fences. No, our town. In 2016, what European capital city elected uh, Sadiq Khan as its first Muslim mayor? Yes. Um, London. London is right. Uh, what colorless inert gas has the chemical symbol XE? Yes. Xenon. Yes. Name the national holiday celebrated every year, July 14th in France. Yes. Bastille. Yeah. What large island in the Western Indian Ocean is known for its unusual wildlife, including lemurs? Yes. Madagascar. Yes. Uh, Republican John McCain is the senior U.S. senator from what state? Arizona. Uh, the Trojan War began when the Spartan King's wife, Helen, was kidnapped by whom? Paris. After 21 years in St. Louis, what NFL team relocated to Los Angeles in 2016? The Rams. Uh, what city is the capital of the Canadian province of Quebec? Yes. Montreal. No, Quebec City. Uh, what metallic element is the most reflective and is also the best conductor of heat and electricity? Yes. Gold? No, silver. Uh, the Oracle of Delphi was a priestess who spoke the prophecies of what Greek sun god? Apollo. Steven Spielberg's 1975 film Jaws was filmed on what Massachusetts island? Yes. Martha's Vineyard. Yeah. Did she get it? Yes, she did. Uh, that's the end of round two. Score right now. Take a look at this score, folks. Hingham High School, 190 points. Somerville High School, 190 points. It's a deadlock. Yes. Next up is the category round, and since the score was tied heading into this round, well, we used a coin toss to determine who makes the first selection. Somerville won the coin toss and will choose first. So here are the categories. What's new? One for the ages. City lights. Hard times. Mind your P's and Q's. And say what? Each category has five questions with increasing point values. And players, yes, you can confer with your teammates, but once you buzz in, you will no longer confer. You will have to give us your answer. And Somerville, yes, you get to choose the first category. So what's it going to be? Say what? Say what? 
Uh, these are questions about foreign words or phrases. And for 10 points, literally meaning hand-to-hand, -hand, what three-word Spanish phrase refers to a duel or a direct competition? Yes, Alice. Mano a mano. Yes, and you've got the board. Say what? Say what for 15 points. Uh, French for let do, what term refers to an economic doctrine of allowing businesses uh, to operate with very little interference from the government? Yes, Alice? Laissez faire. That is correct. And you still have the board Somerville. Say what? For 20 points, meaning convenient or box lunch. What Japanese term refers to a meal traditionally served in a lacquered box that is divided into sections for holding individual portions of food? Yes, Alice? Bento. Uh, the bento or bento box, and you still have the board Somerville. Let's go to Mind Your P's and Q's. New category for the round. All answers begin with either uh, the letter P or Q. And for 10 points, in 1941, nuclear scientists in Berkeley, California, discovered what element used in the bomb that was dropped on Nagasaki in 1945? Yes, Noah. Plutonium. Yes, and now you've got the board Hingham. Mine's your P's and Q's for 15. In the Harry Potter series, Luna Lovegood gets many of her odd theories from a sensationalist tabloid newspaper called what? Alice. The Quibbler. Yes, and you've got the board Somerville category. Hard times. Hard times. Another new category, questions about the Great Depression. And for 10 points, the Great Depression began on Black Thursday, the day of the worst stock market crash in U.S. history. This happened on October 24th of what year? Yes, Zach? 1929. Yes, and now, Hingham, you've got the board. Hard times for 15. Who was president of the United States at the start of the Great Depression? Uh, Marisa. Hoover. Herbert Hoover is right. You've got the board. Somerville. City lights. These are questions about cities. For 10 points, what Minnesota city is the only northern capital located on the Mississippi River? Alice. St. Paul. Yes, and you've got the board. Category? One for the ages. Questions about people's ages for 10 points. How old was uh, John F. Kennedy when he became our nation's youngest elected president? Yes, Dan. Uh, 43. 43 is right. And Hingham, you've got the board. One for the ages for 15. What British singer recently announced that her latest album, titled 25, would be the last to be named after her age? Noah. Adele. Adele is right. You still have the board. Hingham. for the ages for 20. When Shakespeare is Romeo and Juliet, Romeo's age is never given, but we're told that Juliet is how old? Max. 13. Yes, and you have the board Somerville. What's new? What's new? Questions about animals in the news. Uh, for 10 points, thanks to conservation efforts, what mammal that inhabits bamboo forests in central China has recently moved off the endangered species list? Alice. Panda. Yes, the giant panda. You've got the board, Somerville. Uh, what's new? Uh, for 15 points, millions around the world mourn the death of what gorilla at the Cincinnati Zoo who was shot by zookeepers after a little boy climbed into his enclosure? Dan. Uh, Harambe. Yes, and now Hingham, you have the board. What's new for 20? According to the American Kennel Club, which of the following has been the most popular dog breed in America for the last 25 years? Is it A, Labrador Retriever, B, German Shepherd, or C, Poodle? Yes, Noah. A. A, Labrador Retriever is right. You've got the board. Hingham. What's new for 25? A New Zealand aquarium recently made headlines when one of its residents, Inky, escaped from his tank and slid down a drain pipe to the sea. What kind of animal is Inky? Uh, Dan? Octopus. Yes, and you've got the board. What's new for 30? In 2016, a weasel gnawed through a transformer and shut down what powerful particle accelerator at CERN in Geneva, Switzerland for more than a week? Yes, Alice. The Large Hadron Collider? Yes, category? Let's go with City Lights. City Lights? For 15 points, uh, what city near the Chesapeake Bay is the location of the U.S. Naval Academy? Zach. Annapolis. That is correct. And now you've got the board. Hingham. City lights for 20. Located in a fertile valley, what capital city of Costa Rica grew rapidly in the 19th century as an important center of coffee production? Yes, Noah. San Jose. Yes, you still have the board. Hingham. City lights for 25. Most of the key events of the 1917 Bolshevik Revolution took place in what city known as Russia's Window to the West? 
Yes, Kyle? St. Petersburg? Yes, you still have the board, Hingham. City lights for 30. 30 points at stake here. Uh, though Berlin was still seen as the symbolic capital from 1949 to 1990, what city was the seat of government and de facto capital of West Germany? Yes, Noah? Frankfurt. No, Somerville, you want a shot? Yes, Alice? Munich? No, Bonn, Germany, the answer. Hingham, you've got the board. Um, hard times for 20. For 20 points, then. Uh, coined by CBS reporter Harry Butcher, what term refers to President Franklin D. Roosevelt's evening radio addresses to restore Americans' confidence in the banking system? Uh, Noah. Fireside chat. Yes, and Hingham, you've got the board. Hard times for 25. Over 8 million unemployed people, including construction workers, artists, and writers, were put to work under an ambitious New Deal program known by what acronym? Alice. The WPA? Yes, and you've got the board, Somerville. Say what? For 25 points. Superstition holds that seeing one of these is an omen of impending death. Uh, what German word refers to a ghostly double or look-alike? Yes, Max. Doppelganger. Yes, and Somerville, you've got the board. Say what? For 30 points this time. Uh, Swedish for commission man. What word refers to a government official who investigates complaints about public services? Yes, Noah. Obensman. Yes. And uh, Hingham, you've got the board now. Hard times for 30. 30 points at stake. Known as the godfather of modern economics. Uh, what economists believe that depressed economies could be jump-started by deficit spending? Yes, Noah. Keynes. Yes, that is correct. And now you'll need a new category, Hingham. One for the ages for 25. Uh, what star of the all-female Ghostbusters remake is the oldest actor ever to join the cast of Saturday Night Live, first appearing on the show at age 47? Yes, Sam. Leslie Jones. Yes, and uh, you've got the board, Somerville. Uh, let's go one for the ages. One for the ages, this time 30 points. Jimi Hendrix, Janis Joplin, Jim Morrison, Kurt Cobain, and Amy Winehouse all died tragically young at what age? Yes, Dan. At 27. Yes. And uh, you've got the board, but I have the category. And uh, it is mind your P's and Q's for 20 points. Uh, what seven-letter word refers to the point in the moon's orbit when it is closest to Earth? Yes, Zach. Periapsis. No, Somerville? Perigee. And mind your P's and Q's, gang, this time for 25 points, before stars, gas, and other material vanish into a supermassive black hole, they give off extreme amounts of light. Examples of this extraordinarily bright phenomenon are called what? Yes, Kyle. Quasars? Yes. And mind your... Oh! Almost got it in. Uh, but that does end the category round. The score right now, Hingham High School, 440 points. Somerville High School, 380 points. This is a good round. Okay, we're heading into the final 90 seconds of game play. It is the lightning round. Now, you get 20 points for each correct answer. Incorrect answers in this round will cost you 20 points. The clock is set. Good luck, teams. Here we go. Il Duce was the nickname of what Italian dictator? Yes. Mussolini. Yes. Daisy and Tom Buchanan are characters. Great Gatsby. Yes. Uh, name the second planet from the sun. Yes. Venus. Yes. Uh, a candidate needs how many electoral votes to win the... 270. Yes. yes. In Shakespeare's play, The Tempest, uh, Prospera is the rightful duke of what Italian city? Milan. Uh, what actress from The Office wrote the best-selling book is everyone... Yes. Tina Fey. No, Mindy Kaling, uh, the answer. Uh, what Scandinavian country has a flag of a yellow cross on a blue? Yes. Sweden. Yes. Uh, what lifelong Republican was FDR, Secretary of War, during World War II? <laughs> Harry Stimson. Uh, what city is home to the Parliament of Australia? Yes, Noah. Canberra. Uh, yes. In The People vs. O.J. Simpson, Sarah Paulson won an Emmy for playing what real-life prosecutor? Yes. Uh, Marsha Clark. Yes. In 1918, what German scientist won a Nobel Prize for originating the idea of quantum theory? Uh, Max Planck. Uh, what horse beat 19 other competitors to win the 2016 Kentucky Derby? 
Nyquist, uh, what Canadian journalist is the author of the books The Tipping Point and David and Goliath? Yes, Noah. Gladwell. Yes. Uh, name the only continent with no capital cities. Yes, ma'am. Antarctica. Yes. What's the first name of the female protagonist in the 1991 Disney film? <laughs> That's the end of the game and the round. The winner this round, Hingham High School, 520 points. Somerville High School, 460 points. Congratulations to both teams. That was a really good game. Now, Hingham High School is going to move on to play in the semifinals. That's exciting stuff right there. Make sure you're back with us and all of you as well because this is High School Quiz Show, everybody. Check out High School Quiz Show on YouTube for full episodes and bonus features. Visit our website at highschoolquizshow.org. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. High School Quiz Show is available on Xfinity TV on demand from Comcast. Buying insurance shouldn't be a race against time. These are the most important assets you're protecting. You can talk to an independent agent about safety insurance. We'll help you manage life storms. of WGBH.